Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. It is quite literally the last day of sunshine in my country for this year. So I thought it would be a really good chance for me to show you what it's been like having an Ikea Siglaro parasol for three years. Three years this has survived and it's in much better shape. Let me take you over here. It's, it's in much better shape than the Aplaro table worked out i've made a video about that but to put over the table we bought the eye watering the expensive for us siglaro parasol we didn't go for the base uh we just used slabs which have quite conveniently they had corners taken out so they fit really well but square concrete slabs would have worked there you are probably aware that there's a special IKEA base for this. It's about half the price of the Siglaro parasol. <laughs> it was way too much for us. It's over, it's, I think it's something like $100. It's £100 over here in the UK. But let, let me show you how it's fared. We've left, you've probably got some questions. I'm not sure I'll answer them all, but uh, it might give you a better idea if spending this amount of money on a sunshade is a good idea or not. We got this three years ago and we weren't sure whether or not we should leave it outside. Well, we didn't have any option. It's so big and heavy, you can't move it anywhere. Uh, we probably should have bought the parasol, parasol? parasol cover um, that probably wasn't a good idea not covering it up because you can probably see there's uh, green well, it looks like mold but it's just um, I think it's just like tree growth um, what would you call it it's like a, a green staining that's, uh, that's that's happened to the fabric we haven't tried washing it off because we didn't want to ruin the waterproofness of the, uh, the parasol fabric I think my worry at the time was if you put a cover over it, it would get damp inside and it would actually grow mold. I, <laughs> the exact opposite happened. I thought the rain would keep it clean, but uh, you can probably see that that idea didn't work out for me. So you might want to invest in a 220 centimeter parasol cover for your Siglaro parasol. Let me give you a closer look and show you how it's been for us it's been absolutely fantastic by the way really happy with it it's got a clip here which holds the the whole unit to the pillar so that if if you're having a storm or bad weather it keeps it tight and uh, stops it from blowing around it's really easy to unclip just squeeze that and that releases the fabric and then let me show you the, the the crucial handle which is really nicely designed i think this is what it's like after three years so it's in really good condition we haven't cleaned it or anything so the way you do it is push the button i could do it one-handed while holding the camera you push the button in to release the the teeth and then you can push it up with one hand so it's a bit difficult doing this while holding the camera as well but it shows you how easy it is that brings up the bar to here and you can push it all the way up to the top now i'll crank the handle and that pulls this cord that will pull this bottom bit up to the top and that will open up the parasol so let's just open this up now and it's quite impressive it's huge it's absolutely massive <laughs> so we can get this large table underneath the parasol i need to stand back a bit so you can see it all what can i tell you this has had absolutely no maintenance it's had no cleaning and uh, we've just taken it completely for granted for three years solid now there is some discoloration on the fabric and there are actually some tiny holes which i'll show you i'll also show you in a moment what this looks like when the weather isn't so good uh, because we've had it up in in rain i think ikea say you can use it in light showers but it's it's pretty big to put it out in windy conditions but this has been out in in heavy rain as a sunshade it's absolutely perfect the you can angle it so let me let me show you how that works if you push the button it's quite impressive and then pull it down can you see it 
it sort of comes up and acts as a total sunblock. And, well, I think technically they say it's not UV, 100% UV sunblock. But look at that, look, it's completely blocks the sun. We have an IKEA sofa and a really large IKEA dining table, uh, which can get six people around it if you, if you squeeze in. Uh, it's quite a large table and this Cigaro parasol does, look, look at the, sh the shade that it throws and you can adjust it really easily. I'll show you that in a moment as well. But having something this big, I thought would be a bit ridiculous, but it has really helped on super sunny, super hot days to <laughs> stop people from frying in the garden on the patio here. Uh, to put it back up into more like a, a roof-like position, uh, you just do the reverse. So we click the, the button, and again, this is all one hand, and that brings it into whatever position you want. To angle it down at the bottom, it's got this little key that holds it in place. And there are these notches. So I can now twist this, again, one-handed with the camera. And you can turn the, the pole, the central pole round. So I'm shooting into the sun, you can't see it. You can just turn it. I can't turn it much more than that because it will hit the garage. We can turn it like this. You can just hold the handle and hang on. I'll use my other hand. Spin this round. <laughs> so we can turn it the other way. So you've got a complete 360 degree turn here. I'm just blocked by the garage behind us. So that stops me from turning it all the way around. But you get the idea, right? This is probably because we didn't have a cover uh, one year. Uh, where can you see it? There's a, a hole there, which I think is probably caused by a bug. It might have been uh, an ember from a fire, but I think it's more likely a bug has, has uh, snacked on that. That's the only hole that we have on what is a massive expanse of fabric. So I'm really pleased with how it's weathered. This is the discoloring. Again, I, I was hoping that the sunshine would somehow burn it off or the rain would wash it off, but it's not too ugly. So we've just left it how it is. I remember when we first saw it in the IKEA showroom, it just seemed really super expensive and super massive. It, even in the showroom, it looks, it doesn't look small <laughs> and neither does the price tag. What I think has helped is it, it looks really good. The aluminium pole and handle haven't rusted at all. Uh, they look as in good condition now as when we bought it. The ease with being able to unfurl it, open the parasol and close the parasol, it's just really easy, even the kids can do it. And we like how it looks when it's open and when it's folded up. So overall, it's, it's been a really good purchase. It has actually lasted way longer than I thought it would. And it's been used a lot more than I thought it would. I thought it would just be a bit of shade over the table for when, you know, on the, the three occasions that we eat out here. But we've had loads of family over and it just really helps having that area where the sofas are covered as well as the table. It's just a, a bit of shade in the, in the garden on the patio. I don't think I'm going to be opening it up when the, the storm that comes tomorrow. I better keep this lashed up. I'll show you how I take it down. This is what the IKEA Siglaro parasol is like in really bad, super bad weather. We've got a storm coming. And uh, let me just show you what it's like. Sorry, I've got the kids uh, enjoying themselves on the trampoline. <laughs> I don't know if you can still hear me, but this is how the IKEA Siglaro parasol looks in the rain. If you are wondering whether or not it's waterproof, it's holding out. It doesn't leak, even though there are a couple of holes in it. It's, it's absolutely watertight. I don't think it's designed to be used in the rain and I think IKEA would probably really advise against using it in the rain. But look, you can see the, the rain just running off. Let me go to the corner here. It's working out really well as a, uh, 
Well, it's an umbrella. <laughs> As if to prove the waterproofness of the Siglaro. Look, I've got these other IKEA products, not the cat, but these are drying out because they got caught in the rain. And we've had that underneath the parasol. And you can see these are absolutely bone dry. If you can get your chairs underneath the parasol, it really works as uh, a bit of rain cover but we do only do this very, very, very rarely. <laughs> so we wouldn't advise you do it, but it, it holds out. I am calling this an Ikea dad delivers success. By the way, I made this whole video three years ago about assembling the Ikea Siglaro parasol, how we bought it, how we put it together and what it was like for the first time. So this video shows you what it looks like when it's fresh out of the boxes and how big those boxes are. If you want to see how the parasol looks when it's pristine like this, that link to that video is down in the description or on screen now. Casper. <laughs> Three years on, we still do not regret buying this. So I hope this video helps. And say hi down in the comments below. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really helps me to keep these videos coming. And right here is what YouTube knows that you are going to love watching next.